Hi and welcome back to my channel and also welcome to another episode of The Rag Essentials. And as you can see, when the eyeliner is on, the girls are out, honey. Today, I want to talk to you about my favorite topic, mascara. So I brought a few of my friends, the other mascaras. These are the ones that I can really suggest to you. So let's go through them really, really fast. This is Urban Decay's Perversion Mascara. It's very black, it's very voluptuous, but be careful, it's a little bit liquid. It's a little wet thing, but as it's called perversion, the wetness is good for it. This is Essence Forbidden Volume, and this little fella here can do dreams or make dreams come true or yes. This is small enough to go everywhere and big enough to make things happen. And this is for queens on a budget. Okay, next up is the Maybelline Fall Seas Push-Up Drama. If you had a push-up drama in the past, you can buy this one. It's a good push-up drama, honey. Yeah. This baby here is by Deborah Milano. This mascara can do two things. This side, like it is now, is for the length. And now you turn here and look at look at the brush. You see what happens? Woo! Woo! And if it's small like that, it's for the volume. Next one is Essence Volume Stylist Curl and Hold. In my video where I was using this, I said this is not going to be my favorite mascara. I was wrong. This mascara, yes, it's wonderful. It has this strange brush. I didn't like it at all at first. Yes, it does the job and it curls and holds. And also I think the packaging is... Then we have another one from NYX Cosmetics and this is the XXL Mascara by NYX Cosmetics and look at this brush. <laughs> and these two are by Revlon and they are amazing. They brought out this series of mascaras that fulfill all your wishes. So this one is the ultimate all-in-one, so it's like an all-timer. But this one, honey, is Mega Mart... It's the Mega Multiplier Mascara. I'm going to use this mascara on this eye. And on the other eye, I'm going to use my current favorite. It's the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And it's so embarrassing, but I didn't have time to buy the real size. This is the tester that I have. This mascara is so good. Here comes the mascara. I'm turning my head a little bit up and I'm looking down towards my mirror. And this is how I do my lashes. I never curl them because I hurt myself so badly one time with, an, with a lash curler. I just don't do it anymore. So what I do is I go really deep into my lash line to apply the product all over every lash. And then I'm brushing the product out first fast and then a little slower. Okay. And for the lower eyelashes, I'm just doing this, going side to side, and then I'm brushing it out. Okay, I want to use a second coat for the upper lashes. And we are going to see each other again at my other eye. All right, so let's get going with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I'm applying it the same way like I did on the other eye, on the other lashes. I bring the product in all the way and then I brush it out. And I turn the mascara to the inside so that I can catch all the little lash babies that are in here. And then has this tuschen, tuschen, tuschen. This is the Better Than Sex one, and this is the Revlon one. The Better Than Sex mascara is just doing something that is out of this world. The Revlon one I love, it's one of my favorites, but seriously, I just have this little tester and my heart belongs to Daddy. Yeah, 
All right, but a drag makeup wouldn't be a drag makeup without fake eyelashes. Okay, so all of these are fake eyelashes. Just like every other beauty product, there is a sheer never-ending amount of choices. It really depends on your makeup and on the style that you want to show off and also on your character, which kind of eyelash you wear. If you have a huge eye makeup, you can go for a big full-on drag eyelash. But if your eye makeup is smaller, if you're using your natural eyebrows like I usually do, and you go for a full-on fake drag eyelash, that is like going over your eyebrows. Like, that doesn't really make any sense. So I think for an eye makeup like that, I'm going for these. Mm -hmm. So this is a company that I never heard of before. I bought them at, um, how is that store called where they have the designer stuff and the price is off? It's not Primark, it's the other one. Tex-Mex, or how is it called? Tex-Mex, Mex, Tex-Mex, Tex-Mex. Oh my God, TK Max, yes, okay. So these are by um, Ginny Lash, and I bought them for four euros. I went on and used another pair of eyelashes and put them on top of these, and then I cut the hair in the front, like in the inner corner part, just because if the hair on the inner corner is too long, it makes you look tired, girl. No, you don't want to be that girl. You want to be the girl that has long hair on the outer corner and short hair on the inner corner. And then I'm using my lash glue. So I'm using the dark version of the duo glue. And I'm using it right out of the package, just like that. And I'm putting them down to let them dry. In the meantime, there is a very good trick that you can use to make your lash stay on forever. Use a tiny amount of eyelash glue, and I'm speaking of tiny, I'm saying tiny, so this is the amount I'm using. I place it on the inner corner, just where I want my eyelash to sit. And it's here. Mm -hmm. With these little dots of glue, you ensure that glue and glue are going to sit together and hold together and be long-lasting. I do the same thing on the outer corner, but I do it a little bit higher because I will place my eyelash a little bit higher than my natural lash line is. If you're using brand new eyelashes, be sure to use this hack in your life. Bend your lashes and bend them good. So what that does is the change shape just stays on your eye way better. The glue should be tacky right now and I'm going in. Okay, welcome back to the real world. Now I am placing the eyelash first on my inner corner and I'm placing it a little bit above my real eyelash line. And then just with the help of my finger and with the help of autofocus, I am placing the lash so that it shows upwards. You never ever in your entire life want a hanging eyelash. I'm pressing it on on the inner corner a little bit more. And there you go. All right, so here we are with the eyelashes on our makeup. And to be honest, yes, I love them. You know, they're not too long. You can still see the crease popping up and glowing up. This is the kind of lash that I would go for with this big eye makeup. With a smaller one, I would use something that is more open and a little bit less voluptuous. And another really, really helpful thing are these little fellas here, single eyelashes. You can put them on your lower lash line or you can put them in your inner corner or outer corner, wherever you want to have more volume and more eyelashes. So these are really helpful if you want to fill out any gaps. All right, and the last tip that I can give you to make your eyelashes pop like crazy is this one. Go with your mascara, 
brush it off with a wet wipe or a like a tissue or something and then you go in and just brush your natural eyelashes into your falsies okay and so we have another chapter of drag essentials mascara and eyelashes and the next step is lips so see you in the next video bye